In this video, I'm going to talk about Terminate Action within Microsoft Power Automate. Now, Terminate Action is basically used to terminate the Cloudflow execution. So think about it, like if you want to abruptly ex uh, execute uh, a Terminate Action on the flow, then you can use Terminate uh, Action uh, to stop your flow execution, okay? Now, it can be uh, trigger-based on some conditions as well. Uh, now, the terminate status, which gets uh, you get out of the box, are failed, cancelled, and succeeded, okay, as you see over here. Now, the purpose of terminate action is if you are running a big loop, let's assume, okay, and you want to terminate the flow uh, on some conditions, okay now uh, if you are iterating through to say thousand items okay and if you think that based on your condition if you don't want to execute the uh, workflow uh, then you can terminate that action midway based on some condition or based on uh, some uh, direct trigger now terminate actions let me uh, show you something in action so here i have this october flow okay so now there is no uh, nothing uh, is going on over here it's just an october flow it's manually triggers a flow and it sends out an email as you see over here okay now let me switch to a classic designer okay so save and switch now here this flow will uh, be opened in an old interface uh, now here i can test the application so if i click on manually test i can run this flow and it's showing it's successful so if i see this flow and if i go on run history then i can see that this flow took 560 millisecond and the test has succeeded now let me uh, say terminate this flow without even sending out an email so if i click on add an action and if I start searching for terminate, then under control, I should be able to see terminate action. So terminate action will tell you what should be the status. So status is say failed, okay? And the code, maybe I'll just put some code and I'll put some message, so failed, okay? And if I click on save, then your flow is ready to go. Let me test this. So let me manually do a test and I'll run this flow and it's saying your flow has successfully started. Okay. And flow run failed. Now, why it failed? Uh, because we have put a terminate action. Now, if you see the terminate action, the status is failed and this is the code and this is the failed activity. Uh, if I go into this flow, over here and if I refresh this flow runs then it should show me the status of uh, test has failed okay now again if I go and edit it and let me now put status as say cancelled okay now save it and run this again And I'm running this flow again with the status as cancelled. So basically what you're trying to do over here is like you're terminating it, but then in the status, you, uh, you're you expecting that that flow should be uh, in a cancelled state rather than in a failed state, okay? So even that is possible. And you see the test has cancelled. Now there is an, another option which people might put in uh, and that's status has succeeded. Okay, so if I click here and put a status as succeeded, then I save this. So what essentially you're telling is that you do some action, you terminate it, but the status of the flow should be succeeded, okay? And if you want such things to happen, then you can use the status as succeeded, okay? Now it says your flow has ran successfully, okay? Now. Although we terminated it, but we put the status as succeeded and that's why the status is showing as your flow ran successfully. Now here, if I refresh this, 
then it should show the status as basically test succeeded although we terminated an action but it shows the status as succeeded so three different status we can uh, extract out of the terminate action test succeeded test cancelled test failed now i did test that's why it is showing test succeeded but uh, again uh, remember that i ran it manually from here you know now what if i run from here directly so this is not a test okay this is like an actual run okay so then it will remove the word keyword test you know in front of it and it will just show you succeeded so if i refresh this then it should show the word succeeded. Now, same with canceled and failed. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that, but then this will be that same effect, okay? So that's it, folks. This is all about using the terminate action within your Microsoft Power Automate flow. Terminate action is basically used to cancel the flow execution uh, abruptly or basically based on some condition, okay? So thanks for watching.